How sick would it be to get your favorite pro skater to teach you your dream skateboard trick? Maybe, just maybe, there is a hack in the matrix. Some way we could make this happen. If we were able to figure this out, I want to know who would you want to teach you and what trick would you want to learn? Because let's be honest, most pro skaters don't even know how they do what they do. They don't think that hard about it. But there are a few out there that I think understand what they do and why they do it. Someone that I feel fits this description perfectly is none other than the GOAT, Paul Rodriguez. Maybe the greatest skateboarder of all time. But obviously the issue is that I'm just some nobody in the middle of Utah. So how am I gonna get Paul Rodriguez to teach me how to do tray flips? I know it's a stretch, but obviously I think the most logical place to start would just be to send him a DM on Instagram. If it did work, that would definitely be the easiest way to do this. Yo, Paul. I know I'm pretty much a nobody, but I was wondering if you'd be down to film a video on tray flips. Everybody says it's all in the scoop, but nobody can really explain what that is or how it works. Could you help a brother out? Make every day a Friday, my G. I'll be stoked if you see this. This account can't receive your message because they don't allow new message requests from everyone. Well, that dream died quick. Uh, attempt one did not work, but I'm not giving up. Somehow, some way, we are gonna crack the matrix. All right, it's back to the drawing board. A few moments later. So since Instagram didn't work, I decided to go to his YouTube channel and just leave the exact same comment on like his five last videos. But the problem here is I don't think P-Rod really cares about his YouTube channel. It seems kind of like an afterthought with everything that he's got going on. It's just like not really a priority. So I doubt he's gonna see it, but maybe we can find him on LinkedIn. I know that sounds stupid. He probably gets tons of comments and tons of DMs on Instagram and YouTube, but maybe he doesn't get a lot of DMs on LinkedIn. Let's try it. I feel like we've got to just keep trying different things until like something works. Investment banking analyst? No. Senior consultant at Deloitte Consult? Who are these schmucks? No, I want the rod father. Maybe we go to primitive skateboards companies? Yeah, primitive skateboards and Paul Rodriguez are not on LinkedIn. So far, it's obviously not looking good, but maybe I can figure out if I know somebody that knows somebody that maybe knows somebody. A few inches later. Okay guys, I, I think I think we might have done this. So this is P Rod's story. Look at that right there. What is that? That's a link to Cameo. Okay, let's look up Paul Rodriguez's Cameo. Skateboarder. Personalized video. $30. Come on, man! That's too easy! That seems way too cheap. Just gonna copy and paste the Instagram messages and see if this is real. Three days later. I just got the notification that P-Rod finished his cameo. It's time to go to the tennis court, watch the cameo, and hopefully finally learn how to tray flip. Okay, all right, let's check out what P-Rod sent us. Turn up the volume. Here we go. What up, local Joe? P-Rod here, and I'm gonna try to break down the tray flip for you. So everyone telling you it's all the scoop, they're right. The scoop is the most important part of the tray flip. I like to put my foot almost in the little pocket right here, just above it, and hang off my toes. And almost like if your toes were fingers, you want them to like grab over the edge. And then when you scoop, you scoop really hard. I like to think of it like, pretend you have a piece of gum on the bottom of your shoe and you're trying to, trying to get it off, right? So that's like the kind of scoop you wanna do. You wanna get in there and scoop it really hard. And your front foot, just gives it a nice little light flick. The flick is pretty soft, a lot softer than a kick flip. As long as you got the scoop good and you give it a soft flick, everything should kind of work together. So you just want to like, kind of really emphasize that scoop and flick that toe. So hopefully that helps. Send me a clip of you uh, doing a tray flip. I want to see. I feel like the biggest thing that he said was like trying to grab the edge of the board with your toes. I feel like that's something that I don't do. And also I noticed he keeps his heel like really high in the air. So like when he's scraping the gum off of his shoe, it's like he's pointing his foot down at the ground and like dragging just the front half of his foot on the ground. It's almost like by lifting that heel and then really like curling his toes around the edge of the tail, he's like really grabbing and putting all the pressure down and like really pulling 
flicking just like the edge of the tail with his foot. But then also he did talk about not like flicking it like a kickflip, but like kind of just like tapping the edge of the board. Man, I'm nervous. Like after all of this, like what if the tips don't work? Like what if I'm not able to like get tray flips on lock? Like, all right, I'm just gonna start doing like 10 warm up flat ground tricks. And then I'm gonna try and do the, the scoop like P-Rod says and, and see if uh, see if I can get some tray flips on lock. Let's see how it goes. Time to put P-Rod's tips to the test. Hey. Felt that scoop, P-Rod. Gosh, things were going so good. All right, well at this point I've landed a few tray flips, but I really want like that tray flip, the one that makes me feel like I am P-Rod. So let's get one buttery tray flip and call it a day. Dude, this ground sucks. My hand, you can see my board just like slips on it, but then my body just gets like stuck in it. Oh, come on, we need that one. I guess that means I paid P-Rod to teach me how to tray flip. 